So one of the questions we're often asked by our clients is what exactly is a group structure and what are the pros and cons of setting up such a structure? Most companies set up initially just as a single entity. Each company can trade as, as many different sort of businesses, departments as it chooses really. Although tracking how each of those different departments are performing can be a challenge. Software nowadays copes pretty well with that but tracking how much cash each of the departments or each of the businesses is, is generating and what the sort of balance sheet looks like can be a challenge. There's also risks associated with having multiple businesses within one limited company. If one of those businesses fails, it could potentially bring down all of the successful ones as well, because when you're under the banner of one single limited company, any debts of the other businesses within that company need to be covered by the successful trading businesses. So what we'll often see is as businesses grow, expand and start moving into different areas, different types of trades, they'll look at setting up a separate limited company. So that would be scenario B on this diagram. So you've got the original ABC Limited trading over here, and then that would be owned by the original shareholders, and then they set up another completely separate limited company, DEF Limited in this example, and that splits the, the trade out. It makes tracking the performance of each of the businesses much easier. It also protects the trade of ABC should DEF run into difficulties you'd basically liquidate DEF and ABC can carry on as normal. Having these two separate limited companies, there are some disadvantages. It's slightly more complicated. There's more admin involved. You'd need to prepare two sets of accounts, two sets of books and records, two sets of VAT returns, etc. But you generally find that the pros outweigh the cons. Scenario C on this example is an actual group structure and what you do in this scenario is you have the two trading companies underneath a holding company. The holding company owns the shares in ABC, it also owns the shares in DEF and the business owners actually own the shares in Holding Co rather than the two trading companies. Very similar to the scenario above but what happens is when ABC makes a profit, it would pay dividends up to the holding company, as would DEF, and then the shareholders have a decision to make about whether those profits stay in the holding company or whether they're paid out as dividends. There's quite a few advantages of, a, of this structure over structure B. So for example, if DEF is loss making, it can actually offset those losses against the profits in either ABC or the holding company and reduce the tax payable by those two companies. You're not able to do that under scenario B. Also in a group structure, the companies with the assets, whether that be property, bank accounts, etc., can actually guarantee the debts of other companies within the trading structure and that's not possible under this scenario here. As ever there's pros and cons with every structure and I guess the main con of the holding company structure is that you've now got three companies rather than two so you've got three lots of costs, three lots of admin, three sets of year-end accounts etc but again you often find that the pros outweigh the cons. One final point on the holding company structure is that if at some point further down the line you decide you want to sell one of the companies, there's actually something called substantial shareholdings exemption, which means it may be possible for the holding company to sell that company corporation tax free. But there's all sorts of rules and regulations around that, so it's something that you need to discuss with your accountant before you start going down that route. In summary, once your business starts to grow, expand, increase risk taking, etc., you need to sit down with your accountant and talk about the benefits of splitting those new businesses out into a new limited company 
or setting up a group structure like this one.